So Ms. Charlie is quite upset with me. Uh, so she's like, they're talking about the truth and how awful the truth is because, you know, somebody has to be awful every day um, for them all to gang up on because they get off on that. I can't understand it, but it's a fact. So Ms. Chonley, who I believe these same bitches all went after her them herself once, right? Because you were a dude who's pretending to be a fucking woman and catfishing or fat fishing or being a narcissist or gaslighting some I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just find this whole thing comical anymore, right? Anyway, they hated you. So the truth stuck up for you, right? And now you're hanging out over there with them and you know everybody else they've done it to, right? Because they pick on someone and then reel them on in. Recruit, recruit, recruit. Because all of you are sheep and none of you have minds of your own, right? Yeah. So, again, the same group of people, right? I don't know why you guys love the drama so much. But it just makes you look like a bunch of catty bitches. Regardless of what you think of me. Because, again, I don't give a fuck. Okay, so let's talk about this. Uh, holy, I must be psychic. I knew she was going to talk about stuff. Laughing my hands off. Uh, who else is there to talk about it? Stuff who's talking about everybody now, right? Diane's gone. Wendy owes us receipts. I don't know. Randy's trying to change like she has been for the past four years. Um, you know, like in your little group. I mean, there's that little group over there. <laughs> but your little group. And then there's a few more groups. But your little group, right? Yeah, you're the one who's talking about everybody. Your group. You people. Like you always do, always have done, right? That's, that's you guys. Everyone else is just simply defending themselves. It's you guys who are the fucking problem, right? You've been there. And the truth fucking stuck up for you, right? Yeah. Not me, but you. I'm just saying, because I'm catty and bitchy to you, right? Because I've had enough of all of you. Anywho. She's permanently outraged and always watching. No, that's you guys. You guys are permanently outraged and always watching. And you gotta flip everything something that's not. That's you guys. That's nobody else. I mean, you all told a St. Jude scammer, she didn't have shoulder seats. Like, we know, Diane, that you're probably scamming, but you don't know, she died. This is our side. We're, we're on this side. And then, like, a month later, we've all just said we don't want nothing to do with Diane. Oh, except for your hero, Randouche. The snake. Anywho. So I said, only Steph is allowed to talk about people? Is she the new Diane? Oh, no, that's Trish, right? Because Trish shows us receipts, too, Trish. Right? Those Christmas fund receipts because Laura questioned the Christmas fund and then. Um, put out her own Christmas wish list or whatever the fuck was going on there and then this happened and that happened and you guys all just changed it into cheesecakes and it's Christmas fun because you didn't give a fuck about the children with cancer. Remember? You were even on Diane's side when she went after Asher's mom. For making her look bad. You guys are crazy. So, <clears throat> then I wish was nice to me went right along with that moronic dip, right? Dip just decided to flip it on me one day without even knowing what the fuck she's talking about and I stood by it ever since. Like, still stands by it, brings my name up all the time, tries to talk to me on panels, bitch, you are not worth my time. You are like so far fucking beneath me, I can't even begin to fucking explain it to you. And I'm not even that great of a person. But you they are the epitome of trash. You know next to Randy. This name. Anyway, so I just hate the drama community. The whole TCDC thing, and then the racist part of the drama community, and then, ugh, and you're all hypocrites, and oh my god, it just, ugh, cringe. People that are all trying to get along right now, like despite, you know, the one that wants to fucking throw a wrench into everything. But I mean, that's cool. I like that. I mean, everyone's got their fucking shit. So you don't get to judge each other's shit, like fucking fix your own shit, and then you can come back and tell us all how to fucking live lives. Anyway, then she says the truth stocks chats in comment sections, and then she lies. I can speak on it because she's done it to me. I wasn't speaking on stuff. She's never done anything to me at all. This video is about the truth. What does this have to do with Diane? This video is just fucking stupid shit. Huh? What Diane did isn't stupid shit. You see the difference? Yes, no. <sighs> anyway, and I wrote, I don't know what you're talking about. My comment was based on this two minute clip. Oh no, she wrote again. I don't watch the truth. I don't know what Trish or Diane has to do with this either, or who is nice to who. I speak on what I know of people. What I know of people, and I know the truth is a troublemaker who lies. Yeah, and so is Diane, and so is Slobster, and so is Trish, and so is, you know, all of your friends who cause all the problems in the first fucking place, right? I mean, the truth is wrong once in a while, because she doesn't look into stuff before she talks about stuff, but she doesn't blatantly lie, like you guys do. She doesn't twist it into things it's not, she doesn't do this, she doesn't do that. You guys call everybody out while you're being absolutely disgusting, and then she just says, how do you, how do you guys do that? How can you sit in a chat where you're doing the exact same thing and be so horrified about somebody else? Y'all hate Laura because she drove drunk once. Or no, infiltrated a funeral. No, I don't remember. It was all in the same day, right? This one time. Millions of people hate Katie because she's drove drunk a whole bunch of times. How many times did Steph drove drunk? She's a mother. I don't have any respect for that. Um, am I supposed to? Someone has dip. Okay, so, you know, Steph's friend. You guys are all friends, right? And yet, like, look at you. I'm just saying. Um, like, what does it not have to do with Diane? You all come from Diane's chat. You're going around infiltrating other communities trying to get them to go after Laura, who you and Diane have already went after for fucking years on end so that Diane can pocket the fucking money she dedicated to save Jude children and fucking none of you gave a shit. In fact, some of you still give Wendy money, who's now using little Rosie to do the exact same thing, which is why I hate them all in the first fucking place because they made such a fiasco about that. But none of you were here for that. Yet you all have something to fucking think, right? Mm -hmm. I'm so grossed out. And then I wrote, so monster, not only did she lie, right? She lets others take the fall for her doxing of innocent children, right? Tiffany Marie, oh, I didn't tell her to do that. Mandy Bell, well, I don't care, it's Mandy Bell. Took her minds to cop to fucking doxing that poor innocent child. Yet it can't happen to her. She can't remember the password. If I wanted to take it down, which I don't, and I'm not going to, I can't even get into that account. 
But yet she's gonna whine and cry and whine and cry and whine and cry and whine and cry and whine and cry because somebody on the internet said she was a dirty hoe and I told her that, yeah, someone on the internet said that and she called me a liar, so I proved her wrong. And instead of fucking saying, hey, you know, you know, when I did say to her, I have all these, she could have been like, really? Who's doing that? Can you send me the pictures privately? Anything. No, she just fucking got up on her high horse, drove on into her fucking, rode it on into her fucking uh, live stream, went live, called everybody a dear liar, Tiffany Marie spreading around information, Tiffany Marie's fucking trolling me, Tiffany Marie's doing this, Tiffany Marie's doing that, Tiffany, oh, none of which Tiffany Marie was doing. Meanwhile, she's passing around revenge porn. Saying that she's the one who's seen it. Yes, it's for sure real. Trish showed it to me and I told Laura, who refuses to admit that she saw it, but I'm going to admit it. And you guys all have a problem with me and not her. Is that what you're saying, Miss Tromley? Really? Because I do believe I do all my dirty work straight from my own fucking mouth. Not her. She lies and then cries like the bitch that she is. Okay. And then I wrote, oh, Snake. Sorry. <laughs> she might as well fucking be baddies with Randy. They're the same people. And then Miss Tromley Rose, why does everyone bring up MM to me? I didn't even read all this. Half the time I don't even read the stuff. I read like the first little part and then don't even realize there's more. Not all the time, but sometimes it's just that I don't care anymore. So. I mean, I care enough to make you look stupid, but that's about it. Um, why does everyone bring up MM to me? She has nothing to do with me or this video. I support her and her channel, and I agree with a lot of things she says. See, this is what my, this is why people bring her up to you. Because you're here grossing out the truth, but you support MM, who's a child doxer? Because she thinks something, and it's never been proven to be fact. No one's ever admitted to that. But she has finally, after letting everyone else take the blame, and you guys attack people for years on end, or, yeah, no years, I was going to say, oh, no months, but no, it's been years. Um, in her name, finally cops to the fact that she's a child doxer, right? I mean, she had no problem fucking copying to pass around revenge porn, right? Because someone doesn't like her. I don't know why people don't like her. You know what I mean? I don't know. Obviously, you don't, but uh, yeah, you're kind of a hypocrite. Uh, she doesn't triangulate. It. She lets her chat stay open so everyone can say what they want to, like it should be. No. She does that because she likes to talk about people, and then when people get sick of it and type in her chat, so she can freak out because she's a fucking weirdo, idiot, juvenile loser. Anyway, I've agreed with a lot of things you've said before, but you don't leave your comment section open, so I can't let you know. Right? Because I usually talk about things that matter, and I don't want stupid people fucking commenting there. Stupid things. I'm not MM. I don't like the whole dragging thing. Now, sometimes when it's like a minor little issue, I'll leave it open. But a lot of people like Ash and Two of a Kind like to report me all the time and blatantly say that in chats that you hang out in, right? So you have no problem with it. And my comments get turned off because they don't like to hear the truth about, you know, the fact that they support St. Jude scammers and my Loma scammers. My, uh, I hate myself when I say that word because I'm saying it and I'm still wrong. But how Wendy has the nerve, I don't know. Cough up those receipts. I know you've made over $100. And whatever was designated to that fucking cheesecake bullshit in little Rosie's name, I want to see the receipts. Meanwhile, you have your friend, the makeup monster over there, who's totally cool with Diane stealing, asking other people for receipts. Fucking Leona, shut the fuck up. You're not liked. You're not respected. And uh, you can think you are by your chat that doesn't actually go watch the other side of shit, but I mean, they're just sheep. Mindless fucking plot waffles. Okay, so there are only two people in this community who think their own subs and tell them where to go. Play victim constantly. You get rid of these people who call themselves creators, and this community would be an entirely different place where people would get along. MM does not take advantage of vulnerable people, beg for money, use people, or create false narratives. She's never lied to me. You're a liar, because when her fucking channel got demonetized, or what was it? Was it demonetized, or was it fucking just fucking, was she on trouble for a week or something? I don't know. She fucking cried a river, a river, because she can't, you know, go live and bitch about people for four fucking hours. Really? You call that content? You think she's a creator, do you? Because she can't stop dragging people after everything that she's been through, has put her family through, has fucking done to her fucking entire fucking uh, like family. Her whole family, she's humiliated on the internet, and yet she wants to go around humiliating other people's families too? I don't understand that. I'll tell you what, Michael Tromley, my fucking life is none of her fucking concern or business. She doesn't get to talk about it, nor does she get to threaten my life without me fucking caring. Okay, just because I said she was a shitty friend. She's the worst fucking friend I've ever seen, and I'm glad she's yours. I hope it happens to you. Okay, so uh, she doesn't use her children in a place where for three years, no, her whole entire other family, and she does use her children, trying to get people to go after other people, but she can't do that because her child on her fucking channel, where she's drug her entire family, uh, made her husband look like a fucking complete fool, uh, made everyone in her town fucking look good by comparison, um, it, it just like bashed everyone in life that she knows, plus everybody here. Yeah, she feels like she doesn't deserve consequences, even though she's lied, made huge deals out of things, made people that you hang out with drag the fuck out of various other people here over her lies, and now she has to hang out with them because, I mean, you all have nobody else, right? Because you supported St. Jude scammers. And people keep wondering why Diane keeps getting brought up because you guys supported St. Jude scammers, yet you think you have the right to say anything. You don't. You're done. Just like Diane. Idiots. Okay, so, um, you label people creepy, obsessed, psycho stalkers, and then cry because people are talking about the stupid decisions you yourself have made, and then put it on YouTube at the expense of your kid. Yeah, no, that's her. That's not me. That's her. But I think you're talking about Laura, or are you talking about me? Well, who are you talking about? That's her. That's her kid's family she drugged to hell and back. I don't know, 22 times in a series. About what a horrible fucking time her mother had to go through because of everybody else but her. I'm sorry, what? Mm. Sorry, if you can do that to your own child, that's a snake. They'll do anything to anyone not to be called out for anything. You can focus on MM. Okay, I will then. And then I wrote bullshit, because she does use her kid, right? Lots of other people's kids, too. She talks the fuck up to Tiffany Marie's kids, who doesn't put hers on her channel or share with you guys or talk about her life, similar to me, like she decided to talk about my life. But she puts all of her life right out there, like Laura, who you guys hate so much, but we can't talk about her life. I'm sorry, what? 